the water is speaking to me. Oh shit, I can oh It didn't even occur to me. We can we can have a hydro traveler now. This world is full of Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm blue. <laughs> She's not even going to make a comment. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Wow. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paimon didn't notice anything. She's following us. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Oh. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. She kind of looks like Dandy. I got something. Just like that. She's gone. Well, that's the most unpredictable Archon Paimon's ever seen. I mean, I never even had a chance to ask her anything. You... But that's a problem for future Paimon. That whole scene just now was really. You might be forgetting about uh Venti. She's I think she I think he's worse than this. Thanks uh Hmm, how did you know it was going to happen? Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Hmm, is she really that reasonable? Anyway, I might have no idea you were a magician, Lenny. Sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? I think he said that earlier. <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. The Opera House. Hmm. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? For the low, low price of uh, fucking 500,000 mora. My brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now. And we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. I would be delighted. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? Mm. I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. Uh, okay. Oh, I have to click. Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. Please do. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Oh, I have to... Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? 
There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But... In the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Mm. It won't be long before it engulfs out. Oh, wow. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged, and now lie beneath the sea. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what I thought. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. Mm. As oh, a shit. magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. I, I I put this in the, the my small freezer earlier. I it's 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 a little hard. I wanted this I wanted this to get cold faster, but I forgot about it. <laughs> I want to get some some cup. Hold up. Oh shit! It's not cold yet. Fuck! What do I want to have? Uh. What? Actual Coke. Some uh, vanilla Coke. Let's try this open. Oh, Hyman gets it. It's like preparing for a rainy day. But hmm. This is more than a bit of rain. If the prophecy is true, then is there is there no way to prevent the disaster? Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. I should true. See, this is what I'm talking about. Whenever you uh you open a can of something, there's something that sticks out. I don't know if you can see that. Now what I'm doing. He's just trying to s straighten it out with my with my teeth. Why? Why don't I just throw this away? You ask. I collect this. Believe it or not. This is not the only uh, things that I got. I have more and it's already in a chain. I have this. Like a lot of them. And I have this. It's full. Absolutely full. And then, you know, I'm, I'm working on this one now. I'm just collecting them. You know what? Let's put these guys in here. I tend to, like, just leave these things on the table for a while until I decide to, like, put them in the container. It's like the, the, the containers of my uh, fucking floss picks. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Wow. Like. Like water disappearing into water. Okay. Sure, let's give these things to those nice people from earlier. Wait, what? Oh. 
Galaxy. What? I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. You'd be surprised. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. See, there's one uh, reason why you might be wrong. Like, why refuse free stuff? It's free stuff. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Yeah. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. I mean, I understand. Wow, my face is red. Don't know why. <laughs> oh. I was thinking that I probably should have uh, saved her for last, but whatever. Auguro! Oh shit! It's thick. What's this? Uh, so you also believe in the prophecy? <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. Mm -hmm. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, It'll be like we're going home. Wow, that's a in, that's an interesting way to look at it. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater; they'll die. You should probably still take it. It's a nice stick. Uh, all right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Wow. Damn. Damn. Oh, Etienne. I I I I've seen somebody who has the same name. Fucking YouTube so you're dude. The blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. Yes. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. He's cool, man. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. I like this guy. Thanks. Oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when yeah. you get the chance. How do you know it's from the magician? I, I guess? I didn't get the jump. Fuck. Oh wait, that's one twenty nine. Already handed out all of the magic pockets. Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. No kidding. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Mm hmm. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. Hey, where's my Discord? There we go. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help. Many hands make light work. Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. 
I remember seeing them near the water on the east side of the harbor. Grow maritime flowers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's roll. Let's let's do like ten rolls. Uh, but I'll I'll do it one at a time. Wait, I scored a drop. I got some purple books. Claim. Yes. Oh shit! Sacrificial great sword. I am not okay. I thought it was a sacrificial sword. Benny, uh, this guy's like C eight now. I think. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Do I do it? Do it some more. Wait. Hold on. Wait. What would I do again? Oh, I forgot what's gonna do. Let's let's keep doing it. Shop. The big club. Oh shit. The big club. DCBS. Oh! Uh, hey, see one now. Let's go. Wait, uh. Whatever. Let's worry about that in a bit. Shop. Hey, I can afford one. <laughs> all right. Let's continue rolling later on. We already got like three. Three four stars. Uh, one weapon and two characters. That's, that's a pretty good sign. Ooh. Of course. Time to act. Party and knife. Maracata. Aha. Why couldn't it be another element? Why 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 it have to be fucking hydro? I mean, I'm, I don't have anything against the, the the element, but there's already another regional specialty of sorts, another plant that requires hydro to be collected. Why not another element? You know, like require you to like. You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Like, why not? Like, freeze it. So that you can collect it, collect it. Why not cryo? I don't think we've we've had any uh, uh, mechanics to like freeze something so you can collect it. Why make it wet? It's already wet. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. Yeah. No way. <laughs> I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going Can't to, wait to see Fontaine it. before we head to the Opera House? Good. Hyma wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Say it. She's not even going to make a comment. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Wow. Huh? What's wrong with her? I must didn't notice anything. She's following us. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Oh. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. She kind of looks like Dandy. Oh, he's right. Shh, keep your voice down. 
We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Ah, makasito, makasero. All right, let's go. It's a call. Yes, sir. Uh, the lift. Anything interesting down here? Probably not. Ooh. Wait, that that goes up automatic auto automatically. Uh, as a bench. Okay. Go to Remartime Harbor upper level. Oh, you need okay. I thought it was gonna be like one of those elevators that has like. A button that you need to step on. This, I guess, this is good. It requires an input. Um. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those, those who share, share the memory? The memory? Yeah, my first. Wait, what does it look like? Wow, that looks pretty cool. Oh, oh, okay, that makes sense. Big nice. Did light just start flooding from the statue of the seven just now? That's so weird. A rush of water. <laughs> water fountains. <laughs> the water is speaking to me. Oh shit, I can- Oh! It didn't even occur to me. We can- <laughs> We can have a hydro traveler now. Wow. It'll be lonely going underwater alone. You can try doing something for I mean, I, I'll, I'll always be here to like fish you out of water, my dude. Don't worry about it. Aha! Then I'll fish you out again. Of course. Oh. Mysterious power that flows out from the statue to imbue with the blessing of the trans transoceanic source water. Wow. That's a mouthful. Your progress will remain unhindered so long as you're moving through the lakes of Fontaine. Oh, I have to click this. Under the protection of the transoceanic source water, what you expend while moving underwater is not stamina, but aquatic stamina. As such, when your aquatic stamina is expended, you will not drown. Wait, what? So what's going to happen if I run out? Wait, so I... This world is full of un Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba da da ba dee. I'm actually blue. Wait. What was that? Obtain the power of hydro. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Uh, torrent, 
aiming mode, they cost like five dew drops. Slow moving floating bubble that deals continuous height. Oh! Oh, four seconds. God fucking damn it. Oh, wait. Is there a difference in cooldowns between hold and press? Max six seconds. Oh, it's okay. Wait, I saw HP cost. Go. What? That doesn't look very, very good. Let's try the hold mode now. Holy shit. I'm losing HP. But why? Do drop five in the hold mode, hits an opponent, source water droplet will be generated next to the traveler. Traveler picks it up. Oh. Okay. Four droplets in most. HP is consumed by a suffusion while using the hold mode. Torn surge at the skills and will deal bonus damage 45%. Oh. 5,000. Why? That blows. I think the best uh, element right now is Geo for this guy. Chivalry will never die. And give me my fanboy back. I see it. Wait. Give me that shit. Haha. -ha. Wait, let me mark that on the map. 